Good evening and welcome back once again and this is it, it's the final of the Europa League against West Ham, it's been a, such a journey to get here, we've beat some big teams, the likes of Arsenal and AC Milan and this is it and we've had some big decisions to make in terms of who's going to start, some of them enforced so you'll see the likes of Baka and Omar Rajic are on downward red so they unfortunately had to drop out, we brought in Ogbonna and Teixeira, midfield of Herrera, Cousins and Fabio Vieira, that's pretty much standard, we haven't changed those, it was really the front three that I wasn't sure what to do because Mudrik is on an upward sort of bluey green so I brought in him you can't really not start him when they're on that form he's going to play on the left then I wasn't sure whether I should stick with Castro or move Martinelli up top I am going to put Martinelli up top because he is our best player stat wise overall and keep Carlos Perez on the right the likelihood of Castro getting on is is very high not bad choices to have to make though but here we are the final of the Europa League in the Estadio Jose didn't see the third name there. <laughs> Began with an A. And there's the trophy that hopefully in 90 minutes or so we'll be lifting. Again, pretty much a full strength lineup. It's just that left sided of defence. Um, not having Omar Magic, I wouldn't say is the biggest deal, but Baka really is an extremely good left back. But the youngster Tech Sherry, he's done a very good job too. They've got Martial on their team, arguably probably their best player. Let's just jump into it. And they launch the ball early. Let's see how we fare on this left side. The defence, so far so good. Kusan's coming away with it. Not the quickest. Once he's slow, but... Tech sharing out. Vieira. Kusan's nice play. Oh, intercepted though by Rice. Such a brilliant player. I'm sure in real life he'll be getting a move in the summer. I'm not sure who it'll be too, but there's many clubs that would take him. As a Newcastle fan, I would certainly take him, but we'll, I would say pretty certain we'll not get him. You can pick any club pretty much. Even if we're after him, I'm not sure we are. Martinelli now. Modric, Martinelli. Oh, good snapshot. But Fabianski was in the right place, and you expect him to hold on to that. Decent start, though. I think pretty much everyone's got a touch as well, which is what they want. Intercepted again. Get the ball back. Again, it's blocked. Had quite a few of those passes in midfield get blocked. Here's Martinelli, though. Martinelli! I'm not sure how close that was. We didn't get a replay, so probably not that close. But again... I wouldn't even say it's a half chance, but... Getting a shot... A goal, even if it's not on target. Nice defending there from Ogbonna. The replacement for Omaragic. Martinelli. Rodrik Martinelli. Oh, what a finish. Taking a lead in the final. It's lovely play from Mudrik on the left here. Cuts inside. A nice little ball to Martinelli, but that finish. Keeper can't do anything about that. Top corner. And we have looked positive without really threatening so far. We've been, it's been coming, you know, a chance has been sort of brewing. And that decision already. Martinelli up top, Mudrick on the left, that's already paid off. And it was the right decision anyway. Um, whatever happened. Here's Martinelli again. Oh, Perez should have scored. Oof. A great 
great move getting Martinelli involved. Maybe could have had a shot himself, but I think the pass was the right decision. Perez has got to do better there. He's normally pretty good from that area. Again, the pass is blocked. That's the one good thing West Ham have done so far is they've blocked quite a few of the passes going through. Obviously not enough, but... Now Mudrick, Martinelli. Back to Mudrick. Perez. Oh... Well, he got the ball, but he got a lot of the player. Herrera nicely broken up. Now Martinelli. Oh, it's behind Perez. Martinelli, and it's two. That is massive in the final. Herrera broke a play, played it through to, to Martinelli, and it looked like the chance had gone. It was just behind Perez. Stay calm. Very easy finish from Martinelli there. You don't expect him to miss that. And that's two in the final for Martinelli. How he must feel, I don't know. Ooh, I was actually trying to pass it to Mudrick there. Now Kusan to Mudrick will get the ball. And he still gets it back after being tackled. Kusan loses it though. Nice tackle. Don't want to give anything away at this stage. We've got the advantage, but we need to keep that clean sheet. I think that's the most important thing at the moment. Oh, nice little flick from Mudrick. Oh, Mudrick was just going there the opposite way that I thought he was going to go as I passed. Oh, nice little ball there. And it's Perez. And it's three. 3-0 in 36 minutes. Mudrick hustling. Cousins plays the ball out to, to Perez. What about that for a finish, though? It's a nice pass from Cousins with his weaker foot. Chest, little touch. Smashes it in the top left. Now remember, we haven't been, this is our first season in Europe, so we clearly haven't been in the European finals. We did get in the Copa del Rey final last year, and there was heartbreak in there where we led twice and let in equalisers both from free kicks from Lewandowski against Barcelona, and then we lost on penalties. So I don't want to let this game get anywhere near close uh, to that. Now, obviously, we just need to keep a clean sheet now, but the more goals, the better, I say. I'm going to be greedy. Oh, and Carlos Perez, what are you doing? Keep running, man. Got all twisted up there. Could have been in on goal. And I think West Ham are just a bit shell-shocked, to be honest. That I mean... can't really say that, that they haven't done anything wrong because they've let in three goals but I think we've just had some brilliant passing and Mudrick's been on fire Martinelli's been on fire you know they've done things like that they've blocked well in, in midfield some some sort of passing lanes um, but we've just kept going at them Mudrick, Martinelli Mudrick again oh not quite but that'll be half time or should be it is 3-0. And just jumping straight into the second half. West Ham have made the change. They brought in Lanzini from Baron, but I think they had to. You know, 3-0 up. 3-0 down, rather. And they've got nothing to lose now. I'm surprised they didn't make more than one sub. Although the AI, the computer, doesn't really tend to do that. Here's Teixeira. Oh, could have gone anywhere, that uh, deflection. This cause Perez, Martinelli, and Perez again. Oh, just a little bit heavy.
and this is nothing against Castro, but the choice between Castro and Martinelli up top, there wasn't really any question. Um, Castro is such a good player, and if it was him or Xerxes, for example, then it would have been Castro. But Mudrick at the start would have been on an upward form. And Martinelli's our best player. So, and you can see there, he's got the most passes. He's obviously scored goals. We're definitely going to bring on Castro soon, though. Nice ball to Martinelli. And a nice little ball to Vieira. Oh, in off the post. What a finish. Oh, wow. Nice little touch from Martinelli, but that finish, 20 yards out, in off the post. Yeah, just laid into his path as he's running onto it and smashed in. Lovely camera angle. And Vieira is so good from that range. I said it, I think, in the last video. Um, that is, that's his area. That sort of 25 to sort of 18 yards out. He just hangs around that area or runs onto it. A bit like Lampard back in the day. Um, he can slot the easy goals away, but quite often he scores those sort of mid-range goals. I mean, that was quite long range, but... Um, Anywhere from sort of 15 to sort of 25 yards. He's just so good in that area. We're going to make some subs now. And of course, we are bringing on Castro for Martinelli. We're going to bring on Bajer for Carlos Perez. And we're going to take Fabio Vieira off. He's just scored. Bring on Mariba. Um, I do tend to find that Vieira gets a little bit more tired than other players. His stamina must be lower than some of the others. But I'm sure everyone will be getting a massive round of applause going off. Everyone's putting a shift today. Putting a great performance. The worries I had about maybe that left-sided defence, not worries, but the fact that we couldn't start our first choice has not mattered in the slightest. In fact, we haven't been tested at all defensively on a lovely little ball to Mudrick and he just gets caught there. He is a little bit tired and Mudrick is not the strongest, so I'm not surprised he lost that battle, although I think he should win like more of those. Here's Castro. Now Mudrick or oh, gets blocked. But again, Castro making an impact as soon as he's come on. Ooh. Oh, Nucky. West Ham must be sick though. <laughs> yeah, you haven't even got a chance in the final. Can't even make it close. Nice ball, Mariba. Oh, side netting. Lovely play from Castro. He's so good in that area. He just, he's very much, I wouldn't say he's a similar play to Xerxes, but he offers a, a lot of what Xerxes can offer and more. And he does a better. Um, he's certainly a more dynamic play, I would say. Good block. Maribe gets it back. Nice play from him. And again, just loses out though. And somehow loses out again. Not quite sure how. He's Bajer. Now Castro. Nice play to Cousins. Now Maribe. Oh, lovely play, Castro. What a beautiful team goal. Absolutely top class. Such a flowing move. Starts with Cousins here, then Mudrick. Then Maribe. Castro, one touch, and just powers it past the keeper. And there was passes before that as well. I think that's our team at its best. Flowing passes. And a very good finish. And he looks de dejected, doesn't he? 
Not surprised. Yeah. I do like that um, that little cutscene there because it's very realistic, I would say, to how you'd be feeling. Especially after they, they looked like they were down and out in the semi-final. They were 2-0 down after the first leg. They came back to get it to 2-2 to bring it to extra time and then scored another two goals. Cousins, oof. The dip on that shot. Watch this again. It was wide in the end, but the dip on that. I'd love that to go in. Yeah, West Ham will feel not hard done by because they haven't been hard done by. They, they haven't done anything in this game attacking-wise. Defensively, you know, you're letting five goals. You can't praise them at all. So the only positive for them is probably their midfield has been decent at at least in the early part of, of blocking passes from going through quite a bit. Um, that should have been a yellow, to be fair, but it wasn't. Apart from that, they've just been not in the game at all. It's just been completely dominating. Because sometimes goals can, you know, you can get a big scoreline and it wasn't actually that dominant, but this certainly was. Castro, wide. Like, we haven't put a foot wrong on this game. We'll maybe miss the odd chance here and there, but I'm so pleased I've done this. After the last final we played in was absolute heartbreak. Um, like I say, against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey. It was like a fairy tale, you know, a second division team making its way to the final to beat the mighty Barcelona and we just come unstuck, lost in penalty shootout. After, after leading twice as well. Oh, this one's got to tackle there. And that's a free kick to uh, to them. Okay. Yeah, only losing out because Lewandowski scored two magnificent free kicks. Free kicks are way too overpowered in this game for the computer. I, I tend to not score them. I've actually scored one a couple of games ago, was it? But it was a slight deflection on it. Um, not long left now, though. Into injury time. To Maribe. Oh, that's got to be a foul. That should really be a red, to be honest. I don't really want to see them get sent off, but. Yeah, yellow. That's probably. I mean, with three minutes left and you're 5 0 down. It maybe gets a toe in on the ball. Oh, it's smaller than actually. I thought I was like, that looks like smaller than it is. Um, speaking of free kicks. Oh, and it is Cousins with the free kick. What was I just saying? That we don't score them very often. Beautifully weighted right in the corner. Precision. I don't know. I just had a feeling there. Like, I literally said... <laughs> uh, absolutely brilliant. And that just is the absolute cherry on top of the cake, that. What a way to finish the game. Assuming that is the end, and it is. We've won the Europa League final in style. Absolute heartbreak for West Ham. You've got to feel for them. But we were very much deserved winners. There was no luck about it. What a season this has been. Stats-wise, don't really need to look at it, but we will. 58% possession, vast majority of shots.
compared to West Ham. I don't even remember the shots that West Ham had, to be honest. The only question now is who's going to be man of the match? I really don't know. I mean, I would say probably Martinelli, but 6-0 could go anyone, really. And it has gone to Martinelli. Probably the right result there. He obviously did score those goals early on to get us up and running. And after that, it was just pretty much a free-for-all. But look at those ratings. Six all across the board from the defence, which is a very good rating, to be honest. And yeah, no one got less than a six. Very, very much deserved. And what a day it's been for Malaga. Absolutely brilliant. We've got the league tied up with 109 points now. One fixture left against Girona, as you can see there. And then it's the friendly where you play the retiring players, which I don't think we'll actually play. We'll probably just simmer. But potentially, we could end up with 112 points. Got to the semi-final of the Copa del Rey, but we've won the Europa League, won the league and our players are still improving you know this is an improving squad which is a scary thing they could get even better so happy we've won that and so happy that we won it in style we didn't need any luck and that free kick in injury time from Cousins, it was just a perfect ending to a perfect game so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you very much please hit that like button drop a comment down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you all next time cheers